The following review has been approved by the best of classic game room special edition laser hypervision album set. Banished from Earth classic game room broadcasts from the intergalactic space arcade on its never ending mission to review everything. not an error. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of the Atari XE GS, the Atari XE game system, which comes with a keyboard that features a help button. What happens when I push the help button? Normally when I think of Atari, I think of the Atari 2600, but wait! There's more to Atari than just some awesome game systems. They also made computers. Computing their way through the 1980s. This is the Atari XE, or otherwise known as the Atari XE game system. The GS. Good stuff. It plays games, computes, and has pastel buttons. And some bizarre angles all over the place. Definitely from the 80s. Look at the logical video and audio output layout! Incredible! The Atari XE is an 8-bit computer and game system released in 1987. It's a lot like the Atari 5200, except it actually works, and delivers a crystal clear video signal, and has a rather sizable game library filled with terrific games like Zaxxon. Many of the games are the same games you'll find on Atari 5200, except you're not locked into using the dreadful Atari 5200 controller. The Atari XE works with Atari 2600 controllers and Atari 7800 gamepads and controllers and a whole bunch of accessories and, most importantly, Sega Genesis controllers, because they're the best ones out there anyway. So if you've been on the fence about this, you should get it for no other reason than it's a functioning Atari 5200 with a better audio and video output that works with Sega Genesis gamepads. It'll also work with other cool stuff like this light gun and the Atari XE Atari 2600 style joystick, old school printers, a disk drive, maybe even a modem, and definitely this Atari XE keyboard that hooks into the Atari XE and makes for some terrific keyboarding action. The ports are at weird angles, and design-wise it looks like the Easter Bunny exploded, but when it's all hooked up, the Atari XE is seriously powerful. Be careful around that help button. Now what this does not do is play Truxton, sadly. What it does do is play Mario Brothers, and that's an excellent game. I love the original one. It also plays a whole lot of other games, including the older Atari computer games. The Atari 8-bit computer line has been around for years. So this thing is compatible with stuff that works on the Atari 400 and 800, as well as these matching beige cartridges, which are later releases that work on the Atari XE. It also plays Robotron, enough said. Actually, I'll say one more thing. The composite video output is dynamite. Probably the overall best feature. Because you don't need any kind of strange RF adapters or anything. It just plugs straight into your TV and looks incredible. I love Stereo Pac-Man. I also like Jungle Hunt and Donkey Kong, so let's fire up the XE and have a good time. Yes, all that other stuff is super cool, but what it really comes down to is playing great games with the Sega Genesis gamepad. Back in the days before Nintendo games were only on Nintendo game systems, you could enjoy them on a kick-ass Atari computer. And Donkey Kong looks and plays really well on Atari XE. I'm heavily biased towards the Sega Genesis and its amazing gamepad, but of course you can play with the Atari 2600 joystick. The 7800 gamepad is pretty good, but not the NES Advantage, annoyingly. This is my favorite Mario game because Nintendo is always better on Atari. 
Spoken like a man who grew up playing Nintendo games on an Atari, which, which is what I did. I love Mario Brothers on my Atari 2600. Always have. And I love the Atari XC. It's great selection of games, amazing video output, and controller flexibility. Make it the Atari you absolutely must have in addition to the Atari 7800. Yeah! I swear I've seen this game before. The only downside to the Atari XC is that it's pretty expensive these days, but it seems to work really, really well. So, I have an enormous classic game room shout out and thank you once again to send to my man, Mark, from Fresh Meadows, New York. Thank you, Mark. Yes! I've defeated the end boss boulder. No, there's more? No! But yes, this game is far superior. With the Sega Genesis controller, I recently reviewed the 5200 version of Jungle Hunt. It's the Atari XZ. Woo! Two boulders at once! Not for the savages. With loads of amazing games like Beam Rider. Look at this. It's just incredible. And the sound is really good too. Also, don't forget this is more than just a game system. It's a computer, so you can compute and stuff. But I like it for the games. It didn't impact on the surface, it just went in. Now let's see what happens when we start messing around with the keyboard. If you turn this thing on without a game, it, it just does this. It's ready. But ready for what? Oh, I have an idea. Run global thermonuclear war. Enter. <laughs> 